Hello everybody, this is Inspired Jill Min, and today we're going to be working on Kakashi Hatake's cosplay costume from the Naruto series, and I hope you guys enjoy this. If you're interested, please keep watching as I try to make my own version as a gender bent. Let's get started. Hit the like button if you're interested in more cosplay like these from the Naruto series itself. Now as far as Kakashi Hatake's outfit, I made the vest and the shirt myself, including the little shoulder patches designs. So it is very simple and easy for convention purposes and beginner purposes. So if you're interested in that, I took a little bit of inspiration from these different pictures I found online. But the last picture I have is really where I got the idea from. This design that I drew down on paper to make it more concrete. Now drawing a pattern of the character in a female form or just in its form is actually more easier, not only for me but I believe for all people because it helps you see a guideline or a blueprint to where you need to go for your cosplay. Now as a reference into gathering these materials, I did use the two yards of fabric cuts from Walmart for the green, I bought two of those, and I also put two yards of the black 100% polyester fabric so it's easier to make the top and the bottom. Now for making the top and the bottom, I chose two different types of pieces for pattern. I chose a crop top that I obviously got a Forever 21 for PlayStation shirt, and I used another crop top for the sleeves. Now I do recommend you using a sleeve pattern, if not a better comfortable sleeve, because I made the mistake in making it too small, so I had to readjust it. So that's just something to take note of, but we're going to go ahead and just make our pattern pieces, pin things down before we start sewing. I did go ahead and complete the shirt and I sewed it all together and then this is what I actually came out with. It's actually pretty cute. A bell shaped shirt like this was really comfortable. I felt fabulous. With that I'm going to cut off the trimmed access and then we're, we are going to add in a zipper because it is actually hard to get in this believe it or not without it. It's not that much of a stretch material so just keep that in mind when you do buy materials for this. You can do a black polyester stretch and that's a little bit more easier than what I actually used from the sales rack. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the shorts as a actual base pattern to making my shorts for this costume. Now a side note to make is that make sure your shorts are a little bit longer than this. I made the mistake of making them like booty shorts because of course I'm using it from denim shorts. So just another note. But like also this video if you do like Carol on Tuesday I couldn't help but watch that show while I was watching. And the cute thing is my dog decided to join and he was just chilling. He's like the shorts are more less important than him. So he was being adorable. I don't know why he kept trying to sleep on every little sewing pin. I just think he's not afraid of danger. This dog has been eating brownies and stuff and somehow I keep trying to save him. But he loves fabric, I will say that. I mean, who is Kakashi without his fellow canines? But let's go ahead and jump back right back into the cosplay tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and take a t-shirt base, which is my Deku t-shirt base, and I'm going to go ahead and overlay it with this PlayStation crop top to see the actual fit that I'm trying to achieve. But we're going to go ahead and put the shirt on the fold of the fabric so we can make the center back, and then we're going to just line it up with the crop top to do the measurement of the length. And then we're going to use the same method while we're making the center back for the center front. And you'll see that in a moment because I'm going to make this vest have two layers, not only for the front but also the back. So it's easier to stuff in the polymer fill, polyfill that we will be using later on. Now remember once again to make the puffy jacket, you're actually going to make a center front and a center back again. But what I'm going to do is just jump on to making the collar. Now for the circumference wise, it is going to be 24 inches, but how I'm going to make it is I'm just going to take two pieces of green fabric and make each piece 12 inches long. And for the width, I'm making it five to five and a half inches wide. So it's around my neck. It's, every, it's different for every person, by the way. So just measure yourself, okay? Now 
And then from there, I'm going to put the sides together, pin it down, sew it so that the collar is complete, and we'll jump right back into the doing the vest. Now for the part of the vest that's going to be the ending band for the hem or around your waist, I'm just taking a measuring tape to measure it around my waist, which is going to be 31 inches. You don't have to do this step. This is just for people who don't know how to add a hem that's around their waist and they don't know how to attach it. This is pretty much a simple way of doing it, but I'm cutting it in half. So instead of 31, it could be 15 inches. Just like how we did the collar before, I'm doing it this way as well but we're just going to go ahead, measure it up, cut it out, sew along the edges so that when we add it to the vest, everything is just ready for puffing. Okay, so once you have the filling or you're having it some way half puffed, side note, don't make it too puffy. It'll be really annoying to unpuff. Go ahead and start with the details for your vest. So that includes the two small circles, the big circle, and any other details that are on his jacket. So after I was done making the circumference of the big circle and the smaller circles, which by the way, I did glue the big circle to another layer so it's more thicker, I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the collar part on top of Kakashi's jacket that surrounds his shoulder. Now, if you're asking how did I make this, I actually added four pieces of just printer paper and I just tried to use my measurements around my circumference of my neck and a square form and I had to keep cutting and measuring. Once I did that, I laid it on the fabric and I cut out the pieces. Now, you're going to sew this and leave an opening to turn it inside out before you start on Kakashi's pockets. His pockets are pretty simple. I did it in a weird Tetris shape. I don't know what to call that. And I did around six of these because he has three, if not four, on each side of his breast pocket for the vest. And what I did was I did it in a kind of like a Gumby slash like Tetris form. And I sewed each side together so it looks like actual constructive pocket pieces. You can make real pocket pieces. I'm not going to want to want it. It's not worth it. This would be a much more longer tutorial if that was the case. Once the pockets are made, go ahead and stuff them. And then I just actually use E6000 or you use a hot glue and start gluing them onto the actual sheet of fabric that you're gonna glue onto the vest. This is much easier and painless <laughs> to your workmanship that you just made for the vest because you don't wanna start all over on a new piece of fabric. So if you can see, I just basically did the bottom part for stuffing and then I'm gonna stuff the rest of the vest. It's optional how you choose to do it, but I just want to let people know, work a little bit at a time before you jump right into something else. Remember that collar we made? You're supposed to sew it and turn it inside out, and then I just actually iron it down to make it more flat. So when I pin it to the actual vest, you can actually super glue this or E6000 it, but I didn't. I just sewed it on. I'm actually going to E6000 the circle patch in the patches that I made previously. Now, if anyone has questions, yes, I actually made some linings. So if you want, add some padding linings. Now I'm going to take some fabric paint and I'm just lightly going in with it so I can do the designs for Kakashi's patches. Now once I've made the designs, I'm going to go ahead and just do the hemmings, which is the neckband and the shoulder band. Now I'm using hot glue to actually do this down. You can use sewing, but I just did not feel like sewing. So I use my hot glue to sew, like merge down the edges and the hemmings of the vertical and horizontal parts of the neckband. But I think this is a great step because I also use the hot glue gun to go ahead and glue on the polyfill. Now you want to do a little bit at a time. So when you put it on your actual vest and glue everything up, it feels like it's sturdy enough to stand still without looking like it's about to burst. Now in the next step, instead of sewing, I'm actually going to use my hot glue gun to actually glue on my neckband to the vest itself. And yes, I added inner lining padding for the front and the back of the vest. So what I did here is I actually took my hot glue gun and I did the center of the neckband first and then worked my way outwards. This is a little bit smarter because if you have some excess fabric on the left or the right side of the neckband, you can just tuck it in, glue it down, and glue the sides together and not worry about one side being longer than the other, essentially. So the same method that we're going to be using for the neckband, 
we're going to do for the hemming of the shoulder sleeving openings. So I basically did that with hot glue instead of sewing, but either one is optional. But that basically completes the Kakashi Hatake cosplay. for me to wear white hair even though I know his hair is silver just please dismiss that didn't have the funds or the time to just wait on a wig so we're just gonna go with what we got but that was actually it for my Kakashi DIY cosplay I know it's not always the best like I do need to work on a lot of things on the vest and the shorts like I did not expect it to be so short! <laughs> Not gonna lie on that. <laughs> I was trying to make them at least like regular big space shorts, but then I forgot how big my bum is. I would just say as a pointer tip, please keep that in mind because I did miss doing a lot of Naruto cosplays. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do not forget, if you like Naruto cosplays or either like action cosplays gender bend, hit the like button so I know. And if you want to stick around and be part of the uh, cosplay inspired to be my inspi inspiration family, Go ahead and hit the subscribe button with the bell notification to be noticed when I have a video so that we all can share the love of cosplay for you guys. So thank you for being patient with me and loving me and being my little inspiration. Don't forget to spread peace, love, and happiness. And it's only up to you to make every day beautiful. I'll see you ladies and gents later. Bye! Bye! <laughs>